Welcome to Camping with the Coles, where we share with you reviews of Ontario Provincial Parks, as well as RV tips, tricks, and modifications. Our channel has grown a lot in the last year, thanks to many of our new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. It's free, it doesn't cost a thing. All you gotta do is click on that little logo at the bottom and click subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. We we're fortunate enough to meet some of you on our camping trips this summer, and that was a highlight for us, and we're looking forward to meeting a lot more of you. We decided now would be a good time to have a look back on 2020, the year it was for us. Camping season come right now. Now well, that's better. This is season two. Where are we going, Kingston? We're going to McGregor Point. Today we're going to be installing a 12 volt DC outlet and two USB ports. We're going to be doing an unboxing, installation, and review of the solar powered trailer tire monitoring system from TireMinder. Show you our trailer and the setup modification that we that we did to the trail. We are making campfire Dutch oven nachos. We're replacing an RV electrical outlet with a residential electrical outlet. In this episode of Campfire Cooking, we're making tin foil dinners for five steps to winterizing your travel trailer. Welcome to Ristool Provincial Park. Welcome to Mikasu Provincial Park at Ristool Provincial Park. Pinery. We made it to Charleston Lake. New winterizing video. sanitize the water system. First thing you want to do is get the plumbing antifreeze out of the system. We need to build up the fire nice and high and then let it burn down to hot coals. Every wire is labeled and I see there's one 12 volt DC switched. Somehow I broke this area right here and that's where one of the wings is that holds it in place. So I installed a bed lift kit. Now this is simple. One hand like that just opens up and we have easy access. Here are the tools you're gonna to need for this. If I need my socks, I grab out my packing sheet for my socks, and there they are. A tree branch scraped the side of the trailer and put a big seven inch gouge in the trailer. And it's right under here. You can't even see it. We had a blowout with the tire. Um, we were very fortunate though. We will put the boneless ham slices on top, and then we will put a slice of pineapple or two on top of that. On this system, it attaches right onto the front. Dessert is served. Ice cream sundae, yummy. And I grabbed a hold of the tick and I pulled straight out and it came out completely intact. So I'm gonna show you how to do some laundry in this 
scrubber bag, it's a dry sack. Shows you how the display works. Three buttons on the top. On the back you have your solar panel. Step number one is to empty it. Step number two is to prepare the plumbing system. Step number three is to clean it. You want to close the hot water tank. To do that, you have to close the water intake. I don't want anything cooling in there, so I think I'm going to build this all up here, put a lot of extra coffee in it. As you can see, that spreads out very nicely. Inside, I've just put the clips on to finalize keeping the fridge and freezer open so they don't get moldy and moisture throughout the winter. There you go, that's it. Those are the five steps for winterizing your travel trailer. One, two, three, four, five. I'm at the beach at Shady Ridge Campground. It's a great spot on a beautiful day. There's six trails, totaling 12.5 kilometers. This is site number 100, and look at the size of this site. So if you can get waterfront, get waterfront, because you can't go wrong with waterfront. If you can't get the waterfront, I'd go for a couple of rows back, because you'll get a really nice sight, and you know, it's the difference of a couple of steps to get down to the water. There are two group sites at McGregor Point. One is a walk-in site where you park nearby. And this is the part of the video where we do Cole's notes. We call it Cole's Notes because I'm Ben Coles. And I'm Cheryl Coles. I'd probably give it a four. Yep, out of five trailers, I too uh -huh. would give it a four. So we give it four trailers. Four uh -huh. trailers. Four, but the park uh -huh. itself. Oh, I got you, got you back down to my level. <laughs> That's it, four trailers. Uh -huh. I think we both agree. We give it a real good uh -huh. four. Yeah, we're gonna go with our old standard. Four. Four. Trailers. Yep, we're trailers. giving it four trailers. Uh -huh. Now, our daughter Allison here has pointed out that uh, our trailer star system, uh, it has a little more to be desired uh, because we gave everything a four in the season. Um, and I understand that it would be good to have four and a half uh, you know, four and three quarters or 4.6 or something like that. So maybe we'll look at that for next season, try to make it a little more specific. But really, every park we went to this season, we enjoyed. We didn't have a dud this season. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, it was, it was great. 2020 has been a very challenging year for everyone. We've been very fortunate that our family and friends have all stayed healthy throughout this time. We hope that you have also stayed healthy and safe, and we're hoping that 2021 turns into a much better year, and we'll be starting season three of our reviews of Ontario Provincial Parks, where we will be doing a lot more reviews of a whole new group of provincial parks that we haven't reviewed before. I've also got a few ideas for things I'd like to do to the trailer to just make it a little more user-friendly. I'll do some videos on that too. Thanks for watching. Here are the top 10 things to do at McGregor Point. Number one. <laughs> Number one. Welcome to Stop it. Just filming this. Oh, you're filming us. <laughs> oh, this is a terrible, terrible mess you have. Look at all that flooding water going into our trailer. So what do you say? So let's get right to it. So let's get right to it. How about you don't whisper it? So let's get right to it. All right. <laughs> Jeez. Hooks that we just, you can just untwist. Untwist. 
Okay, um, I uh, just found a GoPro. <laughs> Looks like a number seven. It says property Ben Coles. We don't uh, know who that is. Not really sure who that is Maybe or we'll what. Take that to the office. There's a phone number that's on it, but it looks long distance. So yes, we're gonna take it to the office right now. All right, I'm gonna wait, show you. Wait. Oh. <laughs> you <can't do> <laughs> oh no, you gotta put it Here we go. Okay, I just <laughs> That's why I do not do okay, this stuff. All right, all right, no. We'll also come up with some innovative. We'll also come up with some innovative and interesting tips, tricks. We'll also come up with some innovative and interesting tips, trips. Ah. Uh,